Um, I called myself out there. I called myself out every which way possible. I didn't call myself out, I was just honest. I was honest. Look at yourself, man. Called the accountability mirror. What am I gonna do today to change what I see in this mirror? And that accountability mirror just became raw. And I became fat over the years because I fell back in the hole. I called myself fat because I was fat. And people don't want to do that. They want to say, oh, don't call yourself fat. Don't call yourself dumb. If you're not real and raw with who the f you are, nothing's going to change. And in this nice new world that we live in, we want to hear, you're just a little big. No, man, you might be fat. What's up beasts? Another serious video, it's another time to talk about our mindset. Now this week we're focusing on being honest with yourself. Now I came across this topic while watching a podcast from David Goggins and he talks about how he became brutally honest with himself. Now, what does that mean to become brutally honest with yourself? Well, he would go home, he has what's called a accountability mirror. Now for each person, could be different, could be something else. He would look in the mirror, and tell himself how it is. If we live in the society these days where everything's very, very sugar-coated, everything's very watered down. When you talk to someone, people are so worried about offending other people that they're gonna say other things. Now, if you've ever seen a big person, like a big, big person, what's the most common description as a guy, as a man, to give another man who is of a large size? Big man. Big man is, uh, you know, the, the terminology we use. And I, I'm not excusing myself. I will call someone big man every time. And that's not to be mean to them, it's just describing them in a way that not only makes them feel better about themselves, but allows them to be like, you know what, well, I, I am a big man. You know, it makes, it makes himself feel better. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about specifically you and the benefits of being honest with yourself. Now that guy, that we call big man could go home and be like, you know what? I'm not looking too bad today. You're a little big, you know, you put on a little bit of weight, okay. No, he needs to look himself in the mirror and say, hey man, you've lost yourself. Now you might not have an accountability mirror. You might have an accountability place. You might be able to go into a room, sit down and tell yourself, hey, you're not doing the best. Today's workout, you didn't crush. No matter how much everyone's telling you you got a great time and slapping your hand with high fives, you know deep down that you could have done better. Me personally, my biggest thing is procrastination. When it comes to, I guess, the ability to perform a task, there's a lot of the times I'm sitting there like, you know what, I'll, I'll get to it in a moment. I'll, let me just quickly finish up this video game or let me just go and have something to eat and I'll come back up and do it. I give myself these excuses on the reasons why I, I should do it. Like I've got, I'm gonna do it, but just not yet. And it gets to the point where it just keeps getting put off and put off and put off. And then it's either at the last minute where I've got to rush and complete a job and not complete this video or not complete a video or, or whatever the task may be up to standard. Or I just completely talk myself out of it and be like, and then I get to the end of the day and I'll be like, Jess, you know, I wasn't productive today. And I'm really hard on myself for that. I had to look at myself in the mirror and just be like, Tyler, you just wasted time. You just spent the last two hours doing absolutely nothing. Nothing useful. By having that honest conversation with myself, I could become more productive in my day. Now, for most of us, or at least a good portion of us, especially anyone watching this video, you may have grown up at school with bullies. Now, the one thing that David actually mentions about bullies, which I firmly agree with, is bullies are just being brutally honest. Now, their intentions is to make fun of you so that they can make themselves feel better. But what they're actually saying is they're attacking your insecurities, which for a bully, that obviously makes their job a little bit easier because they know that they get a reaction out of you, which if you're insecure about something, you normally will react about that item. So what you actually could do is if there is a bully in your life or someone who's picking on you, and they attack you with something that you know will hurt your feelings. That's maybe something that you need to have that honest conversation about with yourself. 
but when I talk about them attacking you, these are like, you know, not something that you can't change, but things that you can. Maybe you're like, oh, you're such a geek. You're such a nerd. You know what? And you look at yourself in the mirror and you'd be like, yeah, 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 I am actually a nerd. So what? You need to build up that callous skin. You need to make sure that you develop a thick skinned attitude to life. If you let anyone come up to you and just say something that lets you, that, that it eats you away, it affects you, it ruins your day. You're not being honest with yourself because you're like, wow, that was a really mean thing that that person said. It really hurt my feelings. Yeah, screw that. Yeah, they, what they said did hurt. Yes, it was very mean, but is it true? They're attacking you because deep down you know it's true. And you need to have that accountability conversation with yourself and be like, hey, my skin is terrible. And what are you gonna do about it? That's the big lesson from today. Being honest with yourself and then doing something about it. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I've got my own insecurities. I've got my own self-doubts, my own lies that I tell myself. But I don't let anyone, nobody, no matter who they are and what they say affect me, especially if it is true. So the main lesson out of today, go find a mirror, go find a room, go find something that you can sit there and tell yourself how it is. Name all your insecurities, write them all down and consistently remind yourself of them. That way you are on the road to becoming the best version of yourself. And if you're honest with yourself, it's going to be so much easier to improve as a person, whether that's your fitness, your lifestyle, or just your personality. If you got something out of today's video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Mindset Monday's coming out every week. Now, I hope you guys have an excellent week. I'm fired up for this week. Hopefully you are too. We've got some big content coming up soon. We're going to fly out to Sydney on Thursday. So I'm going to be recording all of the Down Under CrossFit Championship and Evan's journey through that. Uh, otherwise, See you guys next week, beasts. Sip it cold in the nose, please. Cause nobody around know me. I'm so low key. She said that she missed her old me. Cause she lonely. But it ain't my fault. Sip it cold in the nose, please. Cause nobody around her know me. I'm so low key. She said that she missed her old me. Cause she lonely. But it ain't my fault. Nah, it ain't my fault I be laid back, doing 